morning, Sheriff. Colorado. I've been hearing a lot of talk. But you might be interested. About what? Well, see about you telling Burdette what would happen to Joe if trouble started around the jail. I guess he didn't expect to hear that. Kind of new to me, too. Would you have said it any different? No. He's doing to me what he's doing to you. I tell him the same thing. Besides, he can't take a chance on whether he'd really do it or not. I don't suppose so. But you can be sure he's going to try it a different way. Got enough left there for another? Sure. Help yourself. You always keep that carbon copy? Only when I carry it. How come you carry a rifle? I found somewhere faster than me with a short gun. I don't suppose you have a match, either. A lot of them, too. I'll get some. Sheriff, we ran into some trouble on the road. Al, here's hurt. His horse threw it. The deputy said we could find a doctor. Around the corner. About three or four doors to the right. Stay away from that rifle, Sheriff. You can see we've still got our guns. That ain't your deputy up the street, my friend. Unloosen that belt. What have you done to him? Don't worry about him. Worry about yourself, he's all right. But he ain't gonna be, and neither are you, unless you do as you're told. Stay back here. We're going down to the jail. You're gonna turn Joe Burdett loose, or you and your deputy are gonna quit worrying about this whole thing. Take your choice. Are you just gonna stand here? If you want to get him shot, just go out there. What would be? If you want to do something, when I get out on the porch in the clear, take that flower pot and throw it through the window. And duck after you throw it. Just keep coming, mister. For me? Yes, you. <laughs> 